Oh, hey there, people. How's it going this morning? Last night, Adrian and I did like three hours of gameplay, and he's already got his video up. That's freaking awesome. If you want to see his version of our Grand Theft Auto, go to the channel in the link in the description, which is www.youtube.com forward slash ADGE0042, which might be written right here if I remember to do that. Yeah. And uh, check out his version of our climb to Mount Chilihad. And uh, it's pretty funny. It's pretty awesome. I thought it was hilarious. I laughed the whole, I watched the whole freaking 20 minutes of the video or 17 minute, whatever it was. Because like, it's funny because you'll see his version and then shortly whenever my computer's done converting the file from MTS to MP4, you'll see my version of the climb to Mount Chilihad head and um, it's kind of funny it's kind of funny but one thing I didn't realize is how bad I sounded on mic holy shit that mic is not the greatest but then again I question if it's just the way how it works as in how the PlayStation 4 works because I sound all distorted on his end and what's funny is on my videos Adrian's got a real good mic he's got some Turtle Beach uh, setup jobby where he plugs it into his computer and into his uh, PlayStation and he can totally listen to shit and the mic on that is way better than that $20 piece of shit mic I bought from uh, Glow, whatever the hell they call themselves, but um, a oh, PDP, sorry. So I sounded kind of blocky on his, and he sounds kind of blocky on mine, so I'm blaming the PlayStation on that one there. We had a great time. Grand Theft Auto Online is stupid fun. But anyway, people, without further ado, welcome to my vlog. A coffee, cause I love coffee. Coffee is so freaking good, it makes me all awake and things. A wild Oreo has appeared. A wild Oreo. Dun, 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 I thought he was gonna come and fight me, but he's just prancing with his orange toy. That's his favorite. Right, bud? Is that your favorite toy? Is that your. Where, where, where are you going? Where, what are you doing? You wanna show, want show me something? What's up? What do you want to show me? What's up? What are you doing? What? <laughs> you want to, You want me to watch you eat your toy? Is that what you want? No, no. You want to show me? Yeah, yeah. That's your toy. Yeah. That's totally your toy. <laughs> oh, you're so fluffy. So I figured out how people like Grim Green and I Getcha do those great big vape hits on their videos. Freaking guys are running a 70-30 blend of of their, uh, their their sauce, right? Now, if you're new to vaping, you're probably saying 70-30 blend, what the hell is that? Basically, I'm gonna show you here, for instance, uh, or 80-20, they're running an 80-20. Um, this here is the Killa Vanilla. I'm gonna turn off that light. God, this tripod sucks dick. So this is my Killa Vanilla. I got this one here down south when I was at Blokes. There we go. And on the back here, it reads, uh, PG, uh, VG PG, so this is a 60 VG, 40 PG blend. Now what th that is, is the VG will give you more taste and flavor, the PG gives you, no way, I got that backwards. PG gives you the throat hit, VG gives you the taste and the vapor, that's what it is. So the more VG you have, the more vapor you're going to exhaust. So last night, for shits and giggles, I took the EVOD BCC here, and I loaded her up with the menthol, pure 100% vegetable glycol. Yeah, put that into her. Yeah. And now it vapes like a champ. See what I mean? Now it vapes like a champ because it's 100% pure vegetable glycol. So that's freaking awesome, now that I know their trick. So when they're running in uh, a 70-30 or an 80-20 blend, they're running 80 VG, 20 PG. Sometimes it's the other way around. They put do it the other way around just to get that real good throat hit. But uh, I haven't seen a 100% PG out yet. They've mostly been blended with VG. And I've seen, like I said, I got the health cabin. That's where I ordered this stuff from when I was using the Pro Smoke so I could reload my own dripper tips. And that's a 30, 30 ml bottle. Yeah, 30 ml bottle of uh, vegetable glycol based menthol and I have a vegetable glycol based cherry and I think they're 20 bucks a piece now over at CanVape, um, canvape.com I ordered two 30 ml bottles 
one of the vanilla cupcake, one of the spearmint, the spearmint's for jewels, and then I ordered a 10 ml bottle of their um, iced cappuccino, because I really want to try that. So hopefully those come in someday, and then uh, start vaping on those. And those ones there are a 70-30, uh, P. oh no, they're a 50-50 PGVG. So if anything, it should give me a good throat hit, and it should throw a lot of vapor, and I'm anxious for those. But uh, I've just been converting some files over from my Hopage, and I want to edit up some Grand Theft Auto videos, because I want to put up my version of Mount Chillahad, because Adrian's got his up, and I think it'd be a good idea to have mine up, and then we can like cross-reference so people can see both of our views, and uh, try and generate more views for the both of us, you know? That would be pretty awesome, I, I do say so myself. So I'm gonna do some video editing right now, and uh, probably vape the living shit out of my poor EVOD here. It's funny, I tried this canister on uh, like the, this tank, the EVOD BCC. I tried this on my my uh, Vamo, and I like this tank here better than my Pro Tank 2. Because my Pro Tank 2 wasn't vaping right. And then I found out the reason why was because the coils were completely filthy. So I basically took the coil out, cleaned it out, I watched an online tutorial, and like your best weapon for maintenance is paper towels and q-tips. So I cleaned out the coil, got all the residue off of it, oh there's no scorch marks on, on, on the actual coil itself so it was good to go, just took all the snot out of it, there's some hard residue on the coils so that's probably why they weren't burning right. I removed all that, put it all back together, fired it up, and now it vapes like a boss. So sometimes you just gotta maintain these things and that's why I tell people like vaping, yeah it's an alternative to smoking, but it'll become a hobby. It'll become a big hobby, you know? Like you'd be like, some people just buy one, they're good, they go, they go, you know, whatever, I'm not smoking, I'm just vaping. But the thing is, is when you get really into it, you wanna try different things and it will become a hobby. It will become a way of life and you'll wanna try different tanks and so far, my favorite tank is this one here, the EVOD BCC from CanVape, and it's like my best investment, and it was only like five bucks or something like that. Probably gonna order more of these guys, because I really like them. And the best part about it is, uh, is it this one here? Yeah, this, this package of coils, I bought these for 10 bucks at that store in London, and literally these coils will fit in both the Pro Tank 2 and this EVOD. So I like that. That's friggin' awesome. And I found out I can buy these coils cheaper from Canvade. So not too worried about having to replace coils. They're cheap. And I think I showed you guys this, that uh, I do have replacement coils that are the wicker kind for these tanks, the CE6s, quad wicker. So, but I'm not a big fan of these tanks. I like the bottom coils better. They're a lot more efficient, they throw a lot more vapor, and they give you a lot more flavor. So, oh, I guess to each their own, to each their own. Anyway, I'm gonna get to video editing, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, this morning when Oreo woke me up, there was snow on the ground, so I let him out to potty. Just checking now, and looks like we're in the clear, but I'm probably gonna drive the G6 tonight, even though I really wanna drive the Trans Am, because I'm gonna have to park that thing soon. Hi, Trucky. Oh, jeez. Bye, Trucky. But, um, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking, uh, thinking I'm gonna drive the G6 tonight. I don't know. Frig's sakes, I really like my Trans Am. I don't wanna drive the G6. So I've gone ahead and set up my MacBook Air on my desk just so I can do my Mavericks update. But right now, it's got about 12 other updates to do before that. And then it's gonna offer me the Mavericks update. And, um, you know, like uh, CNET said, Mavericks isn't free. Yeah, it's free if you have a Macintosh that can run it and you purchased Mountain Lion, or not Mountain Lion, uh, Snow Leopard back in 09. But if you think about the price that one of these things costs brand new, or even a MacBook Air, or uh, sorry, a MacBook Pro, or like a Mac Mini and stuff. If you think about the price you pay for the initial hardware, offering the software for free is a very nice thing to do. Because like, this computer's a bucket of shit. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's slow as frig. Um, you know, a 10 minute video took two hours to render. It's a god awful slow rig. Not fast at all. So, when this thing sold back in the day, it was about, you know, $1,100, 12... Oh yeah. Uh, it was about, you know, $1,200 rig. And it's pretty good back then, I suppose, but like it just it feels so sloppy right now. Like it's it's quick on the draw. Like you can bring up like webcams and stuff, and it works great there. But it's not exactly the fastest rig on the market. 
especially with iMovie. Now it's downloading an iMovie update, no idea what that's going to do. I'm going to let this thing do all of its updates and then, uh, you know, I'm probably going to use it for like when, when, when my main computer's rendering. I can use this one here for like watching YouTube videos and things. It's got pretty good speakers onto it and stuff, so uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. And it's got the backlit keyboard, I think. Maybe. Probably not. Oh, it doesn't. What the hell is that one? Uh, I don't know what you are, but... Okay, so it doesn't have the backlit keyboard. This is what I don't get. Why does it have an eject button? Why do you have an eject button? You don't have a CD-ROM tray. Why come? Anyway, I'm going to let this thing do its updates. It's almost there. Then I'm going to try for Mavericks, and then go from there. So, it should be pretty awesome. Hopefully. Frig sakes. Well, Mavericks is trying to download. Yep, trying to download. I don't see my Wi-Fi indicator. Don't know how long it's going to take. Don't know how to tell. This is uh, this is a weird, weird entity of Mac OS. And I, I don't know exactly how to tell. But I'm on the Wi-Fi, so I'm, I'm on the Wi-Fi. I'm just not sure the fuck is going on. So, well, we'll let the download. It should be done by the time I get home tonight, maybe, probably, hopefully. Frig sakes. There's been some problems at work with the internet being really slow during prime time, mainly caused by uh, the link up between us and Kojiko Networks. Uh, apparently, the link up's not big enough, and with everybody freaking uh, using like Netflix and YouTube's and all those other streaming shit, it really, really chokes out the bandwidth in the system. Like we got plenty of bandwidth at work, but we just can't get enough data through that little pipe. The pipes are clogged with all the porns. So because of that, um, it's probably going to take about a decade to download the Mavericks. So I'm just going to let it do its thing and uh, hope to Christ it works. And holy fuck, I need a haircut. Ah, for frig's sakes, it's 3 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. I've been dealing with YouTube politics and shit. And uh, completely forgot that I need to eat before I take that pill or otherwise I'm going to get an upset tummy. And I have no idea what the frig I'm going to eat. Need to eat something quick. Quick and dirty, quick and dirty, quick and dirty, quick and dirty. I don't see anything in there that meets that requirement. Checking the fridge. I don't see anything in there that meets that requirement. You know what? Yes, I do. I have a plan. I'm going to have a cheese sandwich. I can't remember if I told you guys this, but uh, on my big Kranger T3, I blew the coil out on it. Luckily, I have all those coils. So I just replaced the coil last night, but I just watched a video uh, by this guy. Focus. No. There we go. Uh, the Kranger EVOD T3 MT3 bottom coil atomizer rebuild HD close up. Literally, if you get into rebuilding your own coils, you're going to save shit tons of money. And this guy makes it look so freaking easy. And because I have an electronics background, um, I'm going to give it a try on the burnt out coil. Basically, um, here's the coil I cooked. It's uh, pretty rough. Yeah, pretty, pretty rough. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty nasty. I'm gonna clean it all up and then take it apart and re-wick it and all that shit. And then, uh, do exactly what he has in his videos, but I need to buy some supplies. So I definitely plan on, uh, doing that rebuild. And I gotta buy, like, some wick and some wire and some tool. Well, I got some tools, but... I want to buy some more precision tools, like some precision needle nose and shit, because it'll make life a lot easier. And, um, yeah, we'll get her did. Well, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna close down Chrome, because I think Facebook is still open. Yes, it is. And the last time I did that, left Facebook open. It was bad mojo. Came home to about 50,000 freaking messages from people. So I'm gonna go let Oreo out for a quick shit, because we gotta head off to work. Where the frig he went? Oh, there he is. I'm gonna let him out, and then, uh, head off to work. Oh, garbage is done. You gonna go outside? Holy crap. Freaking dog didn't want to go outside. Oh well. So, I really don't like this tank. It doesn't vape as hard. Come on, buddy. I'll have to go down and grab my garbage can, and then we'll frig off to work. I don't think I'm gonna do a rolling vlog today, people. Just gonna go with, uh, I don't really have much to talk about. Hasn't been that exciting of a day. Just a lot of YouTube politics and shit. Freak sakes. Some days I wonder why I even bother to pick up the camera anymore. But, uh, it's because I love making videos, that's why. Yeah. Yo. Fix my jacket. So I don't look like frickin' John Travolta with a pop collar. There we go. And let's go to work. So I'll talk to you guys when I get home, which will be... And then blammo like that. Midnight. Yeah. Oh. And there's proof it's dark outside. But I find this funny. People down in London and down south and stuff are showing all these freaking pictures on Facebook of like snow and like all the shit weather and stuff. And we still have grass. We haven't gotten any snow yet. So I don't know what the frig's going on out there with this kite fast friggin' weather. It's pretty, pretty dicked. Well, anyway, this is what I'm thinking for the live show. It's going to be, it's a go. The live show's a go. So what I'm thinking is, is we might sit here on the couch once I 
clear off all the shit. And then I'm probably going to move this chair over here in the corner so if we have another guest, they can, they can sit in the chair. I'm thinking about moving the tripod there over to here-ish somewhere. So maybe, maybe where the chair is sitting. And then if I have to, if I can't reach from the Acer tower, which I don't even think that's turned on right now. I think that's off. Maybe it died. I don't know. But uh, if I can't reach from the Acer Tower, then are, are you dead, buddy? Buddy, you dead? That's eh, probably dead. But uh, okay, well, scratch the Acer Tower. I'll set up one laptop here and then maybe grab that laptop, set it up to do the streaming. But I was thinking about using the Acer because what we can do is we can set up the Acer over here to look at, but I can also set up a projector and fire a giant screen up on the wall that we could see, you know, give us like a, I don't know, like a really big freaking screen on the wall that we can look at. So I don't know, it's stuff I'm going to dick around with. But right now I just, I'm not motivated for some reason, even though it's like the live shows in like two days. I will figure it out. It might be rough. It might not be all what we want it to be, but it'll still be a live show. Hopefully Adrian's vape comes in and we can vape together and have a good old vape and happy time. Oh yeah. How's the MacBook doing? Did it actually get its update or did it cock itself over? Good question. Let's see if we can get an answer. Okay. Holy shit. It didn't do anything. Didn't even download a tidbit. What the fuck is this thing doing? <sighs> Sometimes I tell you, App Store, what's going on here? Where, where's my where's my downloads? Piece of shit program. What's going on? Where, where are my downloads? Huh? Purchases, maybe? Oh, you? I, for fuck's sakes! Ugh, now it wants this. Is it downloading yet? No. Can, you think you can download that? Like, am I asking too much from you or something? Piece of shit, bro. Why won't you fucking download? You know, this is why I really hate Apple. Cause shit doesn't fucking work. I click download you start downloading are you not on the internet oh this piece of shit no that's not what i wanted okay so you can go to apple can you Ooh, a thinner ipad because it's not thin enough fucking lame okay but seriously why the cock will you not download like am i asking too much from this piece of shit computer okay i'm gonna fucking restart this thing because obviously it's a piece of shit and um maybe maybe after a restart it won't be such a piece of shit, and if it is still a piece of shit, well, maybe I'll put it up on Kijiji and sell it, because I have no use for this piece of shit, because it's a piece of shit. Alrighty, well, apparently this thing here had another update to do, so I'm gonna do that, and then maybe after the reboot, that thing will start downloading. Piece of shit, Macintosh. But Adrian wants to go do coffee. I'm surprised he texts me now. It's like one o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go rock some coffee and uh, hang out for a bit and uh, probably talk vape or whatever. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we're going to hang out. Maybe we'll even do a Tim Hortons vlog. Yay! So I'm going to head over to the Hortons, meet up with Adrian and uh, friggin' get caffeinated and hang out and shit. So let's pitter patter and have at her and head over to the Hortons and things. Yeah. We're down here at the Hortons. Adrian's here. And let's do a Tim Hortons vlog, like, shall we? What? I like this bread. Light, light bright. It's what not beautiful the, light. Yeah. Toujours frère, important café. Yeah. I got curry cake cups and you put them in your curry and you make coffee with you. Yeah, coffee. Oh yeah, I know. I'll find one for you. <laughs> oh, he's so, oh, he's so excited. He's so excited. He's so excited. <laughs> he's so excited, huh? huh? That's probably not a good idea. Oh, no, no, no. Is it good? Is the coffee yet? Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> is, is, is it coffee yet? You got stuck. I'm gonna brew this in my face. <laughs> Day in the jungle. We're gonna hunt the legendary Tim Hortons employees. Blimey. 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 You guys probably think you're in the jungle, no. but really, you're just in a giant plastic plant. Doesn't it look tasty? That's the kind of grass I wish I had. Is it tasty? Is it, is it tasty? Mm. No? Mm. No. Oh. Don't zoom in on me. I see you land. <laughs> I just watered the table. Was that a poop? With your poop? No. Oh. oh. The floor is so shiny. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting on pudding. Oh, goat's milk. Ow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a good thing. Now at Tim Hortons, you can have an Alpo sandwich for $25.29. Oh. <laughs> Like yeah, he's back. Alpo sandwich. That's Alpo a, sandwich. That's expensive dog food. Yeah. I bet you Oreo when you need that. Oh my god, it's Teddy from South Park. <laughs> okay, we're done. Going home. Bye. Bye.
Bye! 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 Clifford said bye too. Bye, Clifford! Bye! Bye! Oh! Bye! Well, I finally spent this uh, friggin' friggin' thing. Which one's this? This is the EVOD variable voltage. Finally spent it. Took me two days to kill this thing. Yep, a dip. It's also really late at night. Yet another late vlog, people. Sure is. So I'm gonna call her quits for now. Edit, upload, and all that jazz. So if you like today's video and you like that little Horton's vlog, click the like button. I like that kind. Questions, comments, concerns down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on blowing.